so big. What's up, channel? Welcome to Miss Palmer's Place. Today, we're going to talk about what's inside my labor bag. All right, you guys. So, I know I've been keeping you guys in the dark. I am 36 weeks pregnant. I'll be 37 weeks pregnant the day after Thanksgiving. And um, I know it would have been great to have, like, a pregnancy um, vlog series. But because it was my first baby, or it's my first baby, um, I didn't really want to share the journey because you never know how to go. So I kind of wanted to, you know, just focus on the experience instead of sharing it right up front. Um, but what I will do is go back postpartum and um, just do a whole rant video on my whole entire experience. There was a, you know, a lot of things that I've gone through and a lot of things that I didn't know happens with pregnancy that happened so I definitely want to share that with you guys but I thought it'd be cool since I'm at the end to share a little bit of my experience with you guys now um I did a lot of research on what to put in my labor bag I actually did a lot of research period this whole entire pregnancy like I have insomnia so I'm, I'm up all night always reading different articles about different stuff uh, one that I really, really, really <laughs> researched was things that I want to put in my labor bag because I didn't want to be at the hospital unprepared. Um, so this is what I want to share with you guys today. I want to share with you guys what I'm putting in my labor bag. Before we get started, what I want you guys to do is um, share with me some things in the comment box below uh, that you put in your labor bag that you didn't use and you didn't need or anything that you see me putting in my bag today. Drop a comment to say that I won't need it or um, you would have liked to have thought about that before you went into labor uh, or just share with me that I wasn't prepared at all. Just, you know, let me know. So first and foremost, um, I'll share an item with you guys that you probably think I won't need. Um, I actually post this on Instagram when I got it and everybody was like, you're not going to need that. You're not going to be worried about that at all. But I think I'll be worried. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like the silence. So one thing that I wanted to put in my labor, my labor bag that was a must have and something that I just needed around the house period anyway is a Bluetooth speaker. I have a whole entire playlist of music uh that puts me in a specific mood or makes me think about a specific time um that i think i would have a fucking blast listening to while in labor like i don't want to hear machines i don't hear dead silence like i don't i don't well you know small talk or nothing like that you know it's going to be enough that i'm going to be in pain so i figure you know if i had some slap maybe it'll make me feel better so what do you think? Need it? Don't need it? Drop it in the comment box below. So next, this is more of a post um, item that I feel like I'll need after having a baby. Uh, maybe the speaker is like post too. Uh, but an iPad. Um, you know, I don't want to be bored. And I'm pretty sure my boo's going to be there the whole entire time. He's not going to leave. Uh, so I don't want him to be bored. So maybe we can Netflix and chill. Uh, why we wait to get discharged who knows iPad uh, maybe you know I got some work that I need to do I don't want to bring my whole entire laptop uh, you know I need to log into my benefits and add my baby <laughs> to my benefits you know I am super prepared and I like to get things done when I think about it maybe I'll be too tired who knows but knowing me I'll find a way to multitask and get other shit done while fresh just had a baby so while I'm bonding, I'll be working on my benefits. So what do you guys think? Need it or don't need it? It's going in the bag though. All right, so next, uh, up on every list that I looked up, it said to have some non-slip fuzzy socks. So I went on Amazon and i bought these socks um, it actually came with six pairs i've already worn three there been cycling in and out my laundry since i got them uh, my boyfriend keeps telling me why are you buying socks you know they're gonna give you socks i don't want those socks i want my own socks and these socks are high they go you know mid calf i just feel like you know if i bring my own i'll just be more happy and more prepared so what do you guys think 
Y'all wearing hospital socks or did you bring your own personal socks? Either way it go, my fuzzy socks are going in the bag. The next thing I got um, was a rope. Um, I would have loved to have gotten like a nice big bathrobe, but everything that I read about being in labor is it can get really messy. Of course, it can get really fucking messy. So the last thing I wanted to get was this nice big comfortable robe that could get destroyed in labor. And uh, another thing is uh, they say that you want a robe with short sleeves because you can have IVs or other shit hooked up to you. So um, you don't want something that's going to be in the way like long sleeve. Uh, so I went on Amazon and I searched labor robes and everything that came back looked really similar to this. Uh, which is really thin. Um, to me, I feel like it's just really to cover up the backside um, <laughs> when you got the damn uh, hospital gown on that always open in the back. You know, this every I, I've actually been in triage a couple times um, for some high blood pressure situations, and those damn things, ass always is out. So I felt like it'd be helpful to have something to cover up my backside when needed you know maybe i'm walking around before i go into labor who knows i don't know i just feel like it helps to be more prepared or post labor when i can actually get up i just feel like this would be nice to just throw over on top of the gown uh, so it's really thin uh long and if it gets messy i don't think i really care that much about it i bought it on amazon i think it was like 27 bucks uh maybe a little less than that I'll also uh, drop the link to uh, this robe on Amazon in the description box below. But to be honest, you could probably go to Walmart and find a similar robe to this and get it cheaper. Um, but I've been lazy and in the house. I haven't really been shopping a whole bunch outside of online. So pretty much everything that I actually bought for my labor bag came from Amazon, including this bag. This came from Amazon and this was actually a really good price. I'll drop the link to the bag uh, in the description box below. But yeah, did you get a robe or did you just freestyle with the um, gown at the hospital? Let me know. But my robe, going in the bag. Uh, so next, of course, um, I read that um, post-birth, you know, you kind of go through some things down there. There's a lot of things that are coming out of your body. And the way that I've read it is it's like an extreme period. Um, so you need some type of maxi pad. Um, I read that at the hospital, they have like these maxi pads and like these disposable underwear that you put the pad in. Um, uh, but I also read some people that say it was just better to have some type of adult diaper or, uh, I think they call them like postpartum, um, diapers. Uh, so I'm like, um, I'm, I'm going to get that, you know, why deal with the underwear pad situation? We could just have a whole diaper situation. Like, I don't want to deal with that. Just put the diaper on. I ain't got no shame in wearing no diaper. I don't know about y'all. So I bought these. <clears throat> so there was a lot of them that was suggested online. Uh, I did a search on Amazon and looked at ratings to figure out which ones people were buying. And the ones that people were buying and rating super high and had hella ratings for. I'm like, those are the ones I'm going to get. So nothing fancy. As you can see, I already opened them up. Um, I already took out a few. Um, so even though they might have, you know, the pad liner situation available for me at the hospital, I want to make sure I bring these just in case I don't like those. And I want to try this instead. Um, if not, I'll have them for home. Uh, so when I come home, I don't have to worry about that too. Like my mom was like, girl, you just need a pad. I'm like, no, I got diapers. Look at that. It's a big adult diaper. Um, so I took a few out. Oh, again, I bought these from Amazon. I'll drop the link uh, for them in the description box for these two. Everything that I actually bought from um, Amazon, you'll be able to find uh, in the description box below. Um, yeah, so I'll stop saying that now. But yeah, um, so I took out a few. This is four. Maybe I'll stick a couple more in there. Um, from my understanding, you're usually in a hospital for three days. So maybe a diaper a day isn't enough. That's probably gross. I probably need more than that. So I'll put like four more in there. I don't know. They take up a lot of space. They're kind of big if you didn't notice. 
So did you bring your own liners or did you just wait and see what the hospital had? Let me know. But my adult diapers going in the bag. So um, the next thing that I'm gonna bring um, is of course all of my dental and toiletry stuff. Um, of course, that's just a must have. So I'm not even gonna ask if you brought that. If you didn't bring that, like what did you do? Did the hospital have something for you or did you have somebody go run out and grab some for you or something? Let me know. But for we ain't even gonna talk about this. It's going in a bag. But you got your deodorant too. I had the big one, so it don't fit in there, but it could be in there. Alright, so the next thing that I'm putting in my bag is my own Tylenol. I was reading online and this lady was saying in an article that they charged her for all the Tylenol that they gave her, which is quite interesting. I'm like, is it just yo? Is it just your medical coverage? Maybe. But I want to be safe and sorry. Like, if they're going to charge me for Tylenol, I'll bring my own fucking Tylenol. It's not a big deal. I just bought this too. Um, I bought this Tylenol in case I experienced any pain while pregnant. Um... Uh, I did end up taking a few throughout my pregnancy, uh, like literally a few, that's it. Um, but I've been really good about not taking anything. I haven't even been sick at all. Uh, just small aches and pains randomly as I grew, uh, which is a whole situation that I'll talk about in a different video. But I'm bringing Tylenol just to be prepared. Did you bring your own drugs? If so, what drugs did you bring? For me, the Tylenol is going in the bag. All right, so the next thing I am bringing is nipple butter. Uh, I am planning on breastfeeding, no matter how difficult it seems to be. I've taken a couple breastfeeding classes. If I need to talk to a lactation consultant, that's just what's going to happen. I already got my mind set up on um, not using formula. It's just, it's not an option for me. I don't want to do it. Like, I, I want to be able to feed my kid the natural way, at least for at least six months. Um, I'll aim for a year, we'll see what happens. Um, so what I've heard is, you know, in the beginning, it can be quite difficult. And it's, it's, it's a situation, as you can see, I'm, I'm rubbing my nipple already from getting ready for the pain. Uh, but you know, as you're adjusting to it, first three days could be difficult and it's helpful to have some type of cream for your nipples if they start cracking. So I'm prepared bringing my nipple butter up front also bought this from amazon it's an organic um nipple cream um you'll find the information for it in the description box uh so for those are you breastfeeding uh if so if not why not i'm curious to know um, why people don't want to breastfeed uh so drop it in the comment box below and if you decided that she's going to breastfeed right off the back, did you come prepare with nipple butter? If not, do you regret not bringing nipple butter? Let me know. But mine's going in the bag. So the next thing that I put in my bag is, of course, my extra large bonnet. My hair will probably be like this. As you can see, this bonnet is so big, it can fit over whatever. Like, it don't even... <laughs> fit over anything i love extra large bonnets but you know if i get hella sweaty and i just want everything up off of me i feel like this is just gonna make me feel more comfortable we'll see but it's going in the back did you bring some type of scarf or something if not do you regret not bringing so, some type of scarf or something and how was your hair for labor did you do it in a style to keep it off for you? Or did you have it all out and regret it? Let me know in the comment box below. Going in the bag though, extra large bonnet, not them small ones. All right, so the next thing I'm putting in, in my bag was actually recommended by uh, the doula in my uh, labor and delivery class. I took classes for everything, I'm not gonna lie. I went, I went to all the classes. Uh, so it's a massage tool. It's a ball that I bought on Amazon. I think it was like six bucks. Um, and it helps you massage, whatever. Um, so one of the techniques that they taught us was like just the partner doing um, lower back massages. You know, just walk in on my video. Boo these walls is thin as fuck. I'm hungry. 
Get out! Boo. You're distracting me. Boo, get out. That's so annoying. What was I saying? Anyway, so what they were teaching us that when you are having lower back pain, um, it's good for you to massage it. So I figured, you know, if his hands aren't doing what I want him to do, then this should help him. Uh, so did you bring your own massage tools? Um, if not, how did you handle uh, pain? Um, let me know in the comment box below. So this next thing that's going in my bag, um, I read and I thought, this is fucking genius. Like, why wouldn't you want this in your labor bag? But while you're in labor, what are you? You're probably hot and sweaty. All of that stress and pain is probably going to make you hot. So I was like, duh, bring your own fucking mini fan. Like, look at this. Look, you see? It folds up, you know, compactable. And then it's rechargeable. It comes with a charger port. Um, so you don't have to worry about, you know, getting a new battery. Like this battery big as hell. This is not like a battery you can buy, I don't think. But yeah, it comes with the charger, which is awesome because it's the same charger as my Bluetooth speaker. So I can charge everything with my charger, with one charger. And, you know, it has three speeds. So if you have a hot, turn it all the way up, you know, I don't have to hold it. Ooh, that's a that's a lot of air that close. Don't put it that close, you might suffocate yourself. But anyway, you don't even have to hold it. Like somebody else can hold it for you and, and fan you down. I feel like this is like the best thing going. Like if you don't have this in your labor bag, like how are you dealing with being hot? Like I don't like being hot. I'm from the bay, it's cool as fuck. Like we don't do hot ready going in my bag. This is not up to bed up for debate. Get you a fucking mini fan. Alright, so with all the electronic, of course you got to bring all of your charger. Like I said, um, a lot of my little devices, the random devices, has the same like Android cord. So I don't have to bring all the chargers. And of course, my iPhone and my iPad has the same cord. Uh, so that's definitely going in the bag. I'll probably have a spare one somewhere else just to make sure that I don't have to share with anybody. Like... You can't use my charger. Sorry, boo. Bring your own damn charger. All right, so uh, another thing that I'm bringing is my um, my labor ball and my pump. Um, the doula in my labor and delivery class was saying some of the hospitals don't have labor balls or may have like a short supply. So I don't want to risk it. So I'm going to bring my own labor ball. Uh, the only thing with that is <laughs> it's already pumped up. Ugh. I got this ball also from Amazon. So I'll have to deflate it a little bit um, so it can fit in a trunk of our car. Uh, but, you know, this isn't my responsibility. This is my boo responsibility to bring this in. So I'm not worried about deflating it a little bit and him having to pump it back up. Because that's what he's for. It's not my job at that point. So definitely bringing this. It's not going to fit in the bag, but the pump is already in there. Um, and I'll have this close by the door to remind me that uh, we need to bring this. It's a must. So labor ball. Um, did anybody actually use a labor ball during pregnancy? I mean labor. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to need it, but I feel like if I do need it, it'd be nice for it to be there. If it's not there, then I'll just feel like... Why the fuck didn't you bring it? So I'm bringing it. Um, and if they have balls already in there, then we'll just leave it in the trunk. Um, if not, I'll have him go get it. Period. So this next thing that I'm bringing is my Polaroid camera. I've been doing a really great, great, great job at using this for like memorable moments. Uh, so I also bought this on Amazon. I bought it for my baby shower. So I have a little photo gallery. I mean, a little photo album of just like these little, um, little, uh, mini Polaroids. 
Um, so I definitely want to continue to grow that album. So I'll be sure to take some pictures with this as well as on my phone that I can print out and put in my large album. Um, I'm really starting to get in the habit of like printing out physical copies of photos that, you know, I won't lose. Cause you know, sometimes you get a new phone and you lose all your pictures or, you know, when I'm, when I'm like 40, I don't know if I'll be going back to Instagram to share photos. So I want to make sure that I actually store them somewhere. Um, like they did back in the day, like my grandma has hella photo albums. My mom has hella photo albums. I just feel like I should have physical copies of my memories. Um, so that's definitely going in the bag. That isn't, that's like an extra thing. It's just like a thing that I have going on as far as storing my memory. Not necessary, but I think it's important for me to have. So what do you guys do? Do, do you guys, I love these like Polaroid um, pictures because you don't have to go and get them print out. Even though it's not that expensive to get pictures printed out. But just the satisfaction of having photos printed out instantly like does something for me. Do you have a Polaroid camera? If so, did you bring it? Um, did you record your labor? Don't think I'm doing that. I don't want anybody to have a video of my pain. I don't want to look back at that. I'll, I'll look at the pictures and, and relive it through images. The next thing I'm putting in my labor bag, not this whole entire box, is uh, nursing pads. Like I said, I have intentions on breastfeeding. Um, so I bought these nursing pads already. I'm going to need them throughout my journey of nursing. Uh, so yeah, they like nipple covers that they like pads literally that you stick on the inside of your bra. Uh, so when your boobs leak, uh, you have a pad right there to catch it so you don't come through your clothes. This is interesting. Like to me, I feel like this is boob enhancement. Like if you want your boobs to look a little bigger, stick a couple of these on each side and then you like a cup bigger. But ugh, my boobs have grown so goddamn much during this pregnancy. I really don't need the extra. And I was really surprised at how thick they are. I didn't think they were going to come like this. But anyway, I already took some out and stuck it inside the bag. Not taking this whole entire box. That's absolutely unnecessary. Um, so they're in there already. Nipple pads. Did you guys get these? Did you forget them? Did you buy them at the last minute? Did you bring them to the hospital? Let me know. So as far as the baby goes... Um, from my understanding, they pretty much have everything for you for the, at the hospital. They already have diapers. They already have wipes. Uh, they have receiving blankets. Um, so I don't have intentions on bringing diapers or wipes. Kaiser, if I get there and you don't have diapers and wipes for me, we're going to have a fucking problem. But I doubt it because I've always heard that that's never an issue. Uh, people put it in a labor bag. But to be honest, I'm running out of space. I don't have space to just be putting extra stuff in there um even though you know whatever's for the baby is most important you should probably put that in there first but if that's an issue then you know we don't live that far from the hospital i'll have devon come back and get diapers and wipes which i doubt they won't have for me already from my understanding they even send you home with some diapers and wipes so i'm not worried about that but as far as other things go i don't know if they're gonna have a bib so I'm going to stick a bib in there. Don't even know if I'm going to need a bib, but um, I'm going to stick a bib in my bag. Um, in addition to that, I have this large receiving, uh, well, actually, it's a, a swaddle, um, which from my understanding, swaddles are like way bigger than receiving blankets. Uh, this is a receiving blanket, and it is really, really, really small. Um, so I actually see this as like a spit up cloth. You know, you throw up on this. Um, but what I have intentions on using the, um, swaddle blanket for is more for, uh, privacy. Um, I do understand when you have a baby, everyone comes to the hospital and visit, but while I'm breastfeeding, like, I'm sure there's going to be time that we have visitors and I'm going to be breastfeeding. So I wanted something big enough, you know, to... Yeah, it's a privacy and feed my baby. And I feel like this is way bigger. Like, I could cover me all the way up and breastfeed. Um, whereas that one is small. Um, so, definitely think it's important to have something large enough if you're going to breastfeed to kind of give yourself some privacy when you have visitors at the hospital and you're feeding your baby. Um, 
I probably won't use this to actually swaddle. I have those Velcro swaddlers, uh, which I don't know if I'll need at the hospital. I'll have plenty of receiving blankets. And of course, uh, I'll have a blanket there. So of course, a blanket is going inside the bag, nice and warm. My baby's a winter baby, so gotta make sure he's gonna be warm. So I don't think I need the swaddlers at the hospital. I'll wait till I get home for all of that. So blanket going inside the bag too. As you can see, we're getting quite full, running out of room. Um, so in addition to that, I have his little going home outfit, which is like super cute. Shout out to his Auntie Sierra who <laughs> bought this super, super, super cute onesie. It's a newborn onesie, so hopefully he it fits in it. <laughs> I'm also bringing a, a three-month onesie in case, you know, he's just a big baby and he doesn't fit in it. So, we got two onesie options. Um, of course, he got his little hat, so he's warm. Um, I got him a undershirt in case it really is, like, super cold. And um, in case he um, does what they consider to be a blowout, which means he poops all over the goddamn place, which I hope he doesn't. I'm going to bring him another onesie, but this one is way more hip. Shit just got real. This is the shirt that I used for my pregnancy announcement on Instagram. So if you go in there, check that out. You can see how I announced him coming to the world. Uh, and of course, um, I'm bringing him some little socks. Maybe I throw him another little pair of socks on it. This, they're so cute. Look how small they are. Little baby socks. So little. That is going into the bag. And as far as clothes go, that's pretty much it. I didn't want to overdo it. Like I don't, I don't want to have like, you know, a whole wardrobe in my bag for no reason. It's not that serious. Um, so that is all the clothes that I'm going to bring with me while he's at the hospital. I'm pretty certain he wears hospital clothes like me. So I'm not worried about that. Oh yeah, and this little onesie is like super dope. You see how it crossed over. This is the H&M onesie. These little onesies was not fucking cheap. Like not cheap at all. Um, so the last thing that I think I have in here for him is these really, 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 really adorable little I don't know if he's going to be able to fit them, but I think I'll stick them on his little feet anyway. So, got to make sure my boy um, has some little warm feet. Uh, especially because this onesie doesn't have little feet on it. So, I got to make sure his little feet is warm. So, we're bringing his little slippers. They're so cute. And, of course, you know, um, I have to have something that um, I go home in. Um, so, I, myself, bought this fire onesie, hooded onesie uh, from Amazon. Amazon, it don't got the foot. So, it's like literally like a hoodie sweatpants onesie. Um, so they're like, make sure you bring something that you be comfortable going home in. Uh, definitely going to be comfortable with going home in this. I could just see me, bloop, no matter how cold it is, I'll probably have a coat too and just bounce out in this and my adult diaper. <laughs> so, um, I was actually really excited when I bought this. This is like one of my favorite things I bought. I debated a little bit. I'm like, do you really need this? And I'm like, but you would want this, like, even if you wasn't pregnant or having a baby. So just go ahead and buy it. All right. So you see my bag. It's pretty big. Um, last but not least, I know I'm forgetting a couple things. Um, so it's good that I'm doing this video. Um, I have some slippers somewhere around here that isn't already in my bag. And that's probably because I'll go to the hospital with slippers on. My feet are kind of swollen, um, so they don't fit in regular shoes, so I wear my slippers all the time. 
to pretty much everywhere, which is kind of sad because they're white Ugg slippers and they're getting pretty dirty. So I need to clean them. I'm gonna buy some black ones probably. Um, but I'll definitely be taking those along with some nursing bras, uh, which, you know, depending on how I feel, I probably won't have bras on period. Like right now, just depending on how I feel. And uh, definitely have to bring snacks. Uh, here's just a few snacks that I'm going to bring. I'll probably have a whole separate bag for snacks. Put it in my boyfriend's um, bag because none of his stuff is going to fit in here. Uh, but definitely going to bring lots and lots of snacks. The last time I was at Kaiser and I was in triage getting evaluated for my high blood pressure. Lady said she's going to bring me snacks. She didn't bring me no snacks. And then Devon went downstairs to the cafeteria and asked him to bring me a blueberry muffin. And he bought me a flaxseed blueberry muffin. Like, what the fuck is a flaxseed blueberry muffin? That shit looked real crazy, like a trail mix muffin. It was nasty. So I'm going to make sure that I bring all the snacks that I want. And I'm sure Devon will be doing plenty of food runs. Uh, so definitely got to have snacks. Not going to fit in this bag and not all the snacks that I'm going to bring. Uh, but we'll stick that there for now. Um, and that's pretty much it. Besides this chapsticks. Don't want chap lips while I'm at the hospital. I can see me now in there cracking. Ain't nothing worse than being in there cracking. And having contractions. So definitely going to have that. Other than that, that is pretty much it. That's everything that's in my labor bag. I've seen some videos of people doing four or five months putting all kinds of things in a labor bag. So I feel like I did really well. Um, and I don't think I'm going to go any further with adding any more uh, things into this bag because it, it won't fit anyway. Uh, but let me know. Name some things that you put in your bag that I didn't have in my bag that you think I should have in my bag. I got a little bit of time. So let me know. What's going in your bag that I didn't put in my bag? Or what did you not put in your bag that I don't have in my bag that I should put in my bag? If I got time, you know, maybe I can make a Target run or something like that. Let me know. But anyways, thanks for watching my video. Uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Um, there's going to be a lot of post-pregnancy videos. Um, especially because I'm on maternity leave and I have plenty of fucking time to vlog a lot more. Um, so like, subscribe, and stay tuned for all the great videos I'll have. Um, share with you guys on first time labor, um, first time pregnancy, and being a new mom. Thanks for watching. Deuces.